Hi there, so today I'm going to show you how to make a button that enables and disables your background music in your Game Maker game, and it will also act as a simple background music player if you don't want to be able to toggle it. Uh, so I'm going to show you, show you the uh, simple example here. As you can see, as our game starts up, you can hear the background music. And we can now click to mute it. Let's say we go to the next level of our room. Background music is still muted. We can go back. You can see it's still muted. We can unmute it. Plays a bit. Go to our next level, it's still going. Go back, go forward, go back, go forward, go back. It's all the same. All right. Uh, so this will act as our main menu room, and this would be sort of your main game here if you were adding this to a pre existing project. But for an example, I'm going to create a new project for you guys. I'm going to call this. Um, YT. And we're going to start by creating three sprites, three objects, two rooms, and one sound. I'm going to start with our sprites because I think that's a good starting point. A lot of people start with sprites. Uh, so, first thing we're going to do is create a SPR underscore music. And I'm actually going to load a sprite I downloaded from uh, Google Images. It's just a simple music symbol. And it's actually a quite a large image. So I'm going to edit the uh, scale of it by 12. And we'll do, we'll do 20% and resize our canvas by 25% like that. And we're going to go into here and we are actually going to image vert to make it white. And then we're going to go animation set length to create two of this. And then on the second one, image one, because it starts at zero, don't forget, we're going to draw two red lines over it. So it looks like it's crossed out. There we go. Now I'm going to center the origin. And then make sure our mask is full image. That way we don't have to click exactly on the symbol. We can click anywhere sort of near it. All right, next sprite we're going to create is a little arrow. I'm actually going to create my own sprite for this one. We're just going to do 128 by 128. And use our little polygon tool here. We're going to create do like a little too big. Little play looking button like this. Yep. And we're going to call this SBR underscore forward, center our origin. And we're just going to duplicate this sprite, call it SBR underscore back, edit, transform, mirror flip horizontally. There we go. We now have our three sprites, a forward and backward button and the music sprite. Next thing we're going to do is create our two rooms. I'm going to set their background to a black color. Because our symbols are all are all are all white, excuse me, and uh, I'm gonna make it 1,000 by 1,000 just for ease of use. I'm gonna check the persistent box. Uh, you only have to check that for the um, menu or for the room in which your music button is in. So what persistent does, if you haven't um, used it before, is basically it keeps all of the instances. In that room, the same place they are, with all of the same properties, even if you are not currently inside that room. So if we now go to two rooms later, the music will still be playing and the button will still be either muted or unmuted. Uh, we click OK. 
and then we can just duplicate that room uh, because it's going to be exactly the same. And we're going to create um, our three objects and a sound. So I'm going to start by loading the sound in. So this will be your background music. I'm pretty sure that mine is called SND Lobby. Yep. That's what I'm going to name it, SND underscore Lobby, as you can see. You can hear it. Now for our three objects, we're going to start with our buttons. So object underscore forward. Give it our forward sprite. Add an event, mouse, left press. And we're going to go to main one, next room. And we're going to go object underscore back. SBR back, mouse, left press, previous room. And last but not least, our music button. This is the one where it's going to take a little bit of work, a little bit of focus. We're going to use our sprite music. Call it object underscore music. And first we're going to set a create event. We're going to go to our control tab and drag over a code action. And first we're going to define a basic variable, global.mon. That is music on equals one. So at the beginning of our game, our music is going to start playing because music is on, music on, M-O-N, right? Second thing we're going to do is set our image underscore speed to zero. That way, instead of flipping through the white music symbol and the music symbol with the red X over it, instead of flipping back and forth between them, like an animated GIF, it'll just be frozen on a single one. Next thing we want to do is add a mouse left pressed event. And uh, this can be any event, it can be a key switch, but for now we're going to use the mouse. I'm going to add another code action over here. And we're going to add a few statements. So the uh, first one is uh, if global.mon equals uh, 1. So if music is on, open and close our curly brackets. If you haven't used GML before. And we're going to say audio underscore play underscore or sorry res, resume audio underscore pause underscore sound and then snd underscore lobby so that means at the beginning of our game the sound will already be playing and when we click it it's going to pause the music it's also going to set our image underscore index to one which means it'll show the red X over it. Copy and paste this. Change our values. If global MON equals zero. Audio, instead of pause, we're going to do resume. Image index equals zero. Then below all this, we're going to go global.mon equals exclamation mark global.mon. That is all of our code. Go to create and make sure we include audio underscore play underscore sound we're going to go snd lobby zero one um, so this is when this sprite music is first created which will only be at the beginning of our game because our room is persistent this will only this, these create events will only happen at the beginning of the game not every time we go to the room we're going to start playing our background music and then when we click it we're either going to pause it or resume it, depending on if it's already playing or not. And this code here is just a simple toggle. Um, so we can comment that in. On and off. And we can say something like if off and clicked, start playing. Same thing up here. If on and clicked, pause. All right. So just double check you have everything defined. Click OK. Go to your rooms. And in the first room, which is like our main menu room, so you would have your start button, your options, whatever, we're going to place our music symbol also going to play our object underscore forward place it in here 
and then go to our room one and we're gonna add our object underscore back. All right, let's test it out. As you can see, when we start up our game, the music will start playing. We can nav navigate between our rooms. So this would be our game room where we we would have, you know, let's say a character, whatever your game is. And this would be our main menu, of course. As you can see, the music is playing throughout every room. If at any point we want to pause, click, pauses, unclick, it resumes at the same point. It doesn't restart, it only resumes. As you can see, we can go to the next room, come back, it's still needed. Vice versa. So, that's that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions or you know any info that I didn't cover that you would like to ask me, post it in the comments. Um, other than that, thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you learned something, and uh, I will see you next time.